part two. Got a phone call, so, um, from work, so I had to take that. Um, but as you can see, it's a little bit darker here still and a little darker here, but I just kind of put it in the areas that I thought needed it the most. Um, so maybe if you just need it in your nose, you do that. Um, but you can see, if you look real close. Um, it dries and, and you can see it's maybe going to be pulling some of that junk out of my pores. So, um, I wish I would have put some there, but there's always next week. Um, so I just kind of see, yeah, it's here too. It's, uh, looking, you know, like my pores are. I don't know, maybe getting, bringing some junk to the surface, it's dry, so, um, I don't know why that one part of that, maybe it's the last place I put it, I don't know. So now, after I'm done, I'm going to just rinse it with hot, uh, warm water. on that put in the comments because this thing oh, girl any young girls watching please wear sunscreen because this my friends is so hard to get rid of this all these little freckles and sun damage that I have very hard to get rid of so if you're a young girl or you're 20s or whatever wear sunscreen don't go tanning none of that Alrighty. Good enough, I think. Um, I wonder if I got any green stuff stuck in, in me pores. Arr, got any green stuff stuck in me pores. Uh, I can't tell if it looks better or not, but it was kind of nice. So anyway, uh, if you're interested in one of those marine mud masks, um, you can either go on, um, my new biz on, um, that their Facebook or that their Instagram, um, or I also have a website. So let me know if there's anything that you can recommend for this. See you next time.